So uh, Europe is ready. The, the important mentality shift that needs to take place uh, is happening. So uh, organizations, institutions, governments are really pushing towards the openness of data. And this is going to provide a lot of opportunities for new businesses, startups, but also incumbent businesses to exploit this new newfound wealth and to make uh, new products, new services that are going to drive uh, growth in general and especially employment that is much needed in Europe today. I think uh, Europe is going to be the leader in the big data economy. And the reason behind that is there's a strong resolve uh, and this is not only witnessed in the government levels, but is also witnessed in the entrepreneurial world. So a lot of people are actually experimenting. They don't wait for traditional structures to do stuff for them. So they go out, uh, go out the experiment, they try to build new stuff uh, to fail fast, to fail soon, to fail often. And this is helping a lot with actually ruling out the, um, the opportunities that are not really relevant and focusing on the, on the matters that are really, really important and are going to provide the actual opportunities for growth. What we need to do is try to instill an information culture across Europe. And this is independent of the type of organization we are trying to do that to. It doesn't matter if you're coming from the government side, from the business world, or you just are a researcher in a university or academia in general. You need to understand that in order to harness the opportunities that are provided by the new data economy, uh, you need to est establish boundaries. You really, to know, you really need to know the data you're using and how viable these are to your business objectives. And of course, you need to apply important governance mechanisms and uh, conformance me me mechanisms to ensure that you comply with the so societal and ethical boundaries uh, of our world. At the same time, it is important to address the issue of education and training curricula since we're moving past the engineering phase and the computer science phase and we're getting into the data science era.